Hey guys, it's Ami Amor. Today I'm going to show you how to make this tiger Ami Kurumi. He's inspired by my favorite tiger from Calvin and Hobbes. As you can see, he's a nice large size. It's one of my bigger Ami Kurumis and it's perfect for cuddling. Alright, let's get started! <music> Here are the materials you'll need. For round one, with gold yarn, you are going to do six single crochet into the magic ring. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and close your circle. Okay, and now we're going to put in our stitch marker. For round two, we are going to do two single crochet in each stitch around. So at the end, you should have 12 stitches. So in our very first stitch right here, we are going to do two single crochet stitches. That's our first one. Here's my second one. Okay, next one I'm also going to do two again. Here's one. Here's two. And you're going to do two all the way around. For round three, our pattern is going to be two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and do two single crochet stitch here. That's one. And two. Next one is just one. I'm going to repeat the pattern two. And just one. And keep doing, repeating the pattern around. For round four, our pattern is two, one, one, two, one, one, all the way around. And at the end, you'll have 24 stitches. It's one, two, and then just one. And then our next stitch, just one. And here's two again. And then just one. And one. Okay, and repeat the pattern all the way around. For round five, our pattern is going to be two, one, one, one. Two, one, one, one. Repeat all around, and at the end, you should have 30 single crochet stitches. That's one, two, and then just one, one, one. It's two. For round six, our pattern is two, one, 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 two, one, 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 one. It's gonna be two, two, and then you're gonna do single crochet in the next four. That's one, two, three, four. So two. And then one, two, three, four. Okay, and repeat all around. For round seven through 15, we are going to stay at 36 stitches. So you're just gonna do one in each stitch around. 
So go ahead and work up your stitches. We're just gonna put one in each stitch around. Here's how your head should look like after you finish 15 rounds. And if you're not sure, this is how you can count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen rounds. For round 16, our pattern is going to be a decrease and then single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet in a row. So that's decrease and then four right here. For a total of 30 single crochet stitches around. So decrease and then one, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna repeat that again. Decrease and then one, two, three, four. Okay, you're gonna repeat all the way around and you'll have 30 single crochet stitches at the end. For round 17, we are going to stay at 30 single crochet stitches around. So it's just doing one in each one all the way around. For round 18, our pattern is going to be a decrease and single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a decrease. And in our next three, we're just going to do single crochet. One, two, and three. Okay, we're gonna repeat, decrease. And then single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Repeat all the way around. For rounds 19 through 21, we are going to stay at 24 single crochet stitches. So you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch. And this is how your head should look like at the end. For the body, rounds one through five are exactly like the head. So go ahead and repeat one, rounds one through five. And at the end of round five, you should have 30 stitches at the end. Round six for um, the body, our pattern is going to be two single crochet here. And then in our next 14 stitches, it's just one single crochet stitch. So go ahead and do two here and then we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then we're gonna repeat the pattern again. We're gonna have two here. One, two, and then in our next 14, it's just one in each one around again. Now for round seven, we're going to stay at 32 single crochet stitches. So go ahead and work up your stitches. And then, but at the very last stitch, we are going to switch colors. So go ahead and work your stitches all the way around. Okay, so and then in our very last stitch, we're going to go ahead and do a color switch. So go ahead and get your black yarn. And then make a loop. So we have it ready to do our color change. So now I'm gonna pick this back up. And in our very last stitch, 
I'm going to do a single crochet but instead of finishing it off I'm going to grab my new yarn the black and then I'm going to pull it through to finish my single crochet stitch and here you don't want to don't cut off the gold yarn yet because we're going to pick it up later Okay, now with black, for the next two rounds, you're just going to stay at 32 single crochet stitches. So you can just do one single crochet st stitch in each stitch around. So go ahead and work up two rounds with the black. When I get to the end of my second row with the black, in the last stitch, before I finish off my single crochet stitch, I'm going to go ahead and pick the gold yarn back up. And I'm going to go ahead and finish the single crochet stitch with that right there. And now with our um, gold yarn again, I'm going to go ahead and do three rounds of gold. So go ahead and do three rounds of gold with just one single crochet stitch around and don't forget to move your stitch stitch marker so you know where your rounds end okay so here's my three rounds of gold and then i want to switch back to the black again And I'm going to pick up the black. Go ahead and repeat the pattern of two rounds of black and three rounds of gold one more time. You'll want to keep repeating the two rounds of black and three rounds of gold until you have four of these black stripes in total okay. and then also one other thing I like to say is that when you're switching colors it'll, the colors seem to want to travel this way so what I recommend is actually at the end of the round if it starts moving over a little bit too much I would um, do the color change in the next stitch over if possible. So that's what I did right here. This was the actually the end of the round, but I just did one more and I changed color in this stitch instead. Okay, well, hope that makes sense. So this is how the body should look like so far. You should have one, two, three, four black stripes and then you should end with the um, three rounds of gold at the top. And then for round 28, we're going to go ahead and do our color change once more. And then for this part, we are going to do a decrease. And then in our next 14 stitches, we're just going to do one single crochet stitch. So that's one, two, Now we're going to repeat that again. We're going to do a decrease. And we're going to do 14. 1, 2, 3. Okay, and then at the very end of our round, I'm going to do another color change. Okay, and for the next three rounds, I am going to Stay at 24 single crochet stitches. 
so we're just gonna do one of each one around and we're going to do that for three more rounds okay so here's how it looks like after we did our three rounds of gold and um, for our last two rounds we're going to go ahead and change our color to black and we're going to remain at 24 single crochet stitches and you're going to do um, two rounds in black and you're just going to do one single crochet all the way around and so go finish up your last two rounds so now at the end of um, your last round you should have one two three four five six black stripes for the leg you are going to do six single crochet stitch into a magic ring with white yarn that's one two three four five six go ahead and close up your loop okay we're going to increase to 12 single crochet stitches so that means two in each stitch around it's one two for round three, our pattern is going to be two, one, 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 two, one, 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 all the way around. Okay, so at the end, you should have 15 single crochet stitches. One, two, and three. For rounds four through six, we're just going to stay at 15 single crochet stitches. And so you're just going to do one in each stitch around. And then here is my leg and then I'm going to go ahead and do a single crochet stitch and finish it off with the new yarn. Okay, now I'm going to go around for, in black for two rounds. Here, I'm going to go ahead and do another single crochet stitch and finish off with the new yarn and with the gold I am going to do two rounds as well and then when we come to the end I'm going to go ahead and switch back to black okay and then I'm going to repeat the set of two rounds of black and two rounds of yellow or two rounds of gold one more time okay so here is your leg finished and you'll want to make four of these so for the ears you'll want to use black but um the stitches are hard to see when i use black so i'm just going to make a ear ear piece in the white so that it's easier for you guys to follow Okay, so first we're going to do a six single crochet stitch into magic ring. Okay, now we're going to increase two in each stitch around so you'll have 12 at the end. So that's one, two. For round three, you are going to stay at 12 stitches. So that's one in each stitch around. For round four, our pattern is going to be a decrease, single crochet, decrease, single crochet, and repeat the pattern all the way around. So here's a decrease, single crochet. Okay, and for the fifth and final round, our pattern is going to be a decrease, single crochet, single crochet, and one more time, decrease, single crochet, single crochet. So here's a decrease. Single crochet. Single crochet. Decrease. Single crochet. And a single crochet. And you'll want to cut a long tail. And you will want to fasten off. Here are my two ears in black. For the nose, you'll want to use black, but to make it um, be seen easier, I'm going to use white. 
for right now. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and do five single crochet into the magic ring. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Go ahead and close your circle up. And for our next, our very first stitch right here, I'm going to go ahead and do a half double crochet stitch. So I'm gonna want to go into my very first stitch here, but I wanna do a half double crochet stitch. In my next stitch again, I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to do a, another half double crochet stitch. And then I'm going to chain one. And then in this same stitch that I just came out of, I'm going to go back in. And I'm going to do another half double crochet stitch. And in my next stitch, I'm going to do a single crochet stitch. And then in the very next stitch, I'm just going to do a slip stitch. And I'm going to cut a long tail and fasten off. Nose is black here. Okay, and for the tail, you are going to do get your black and do six single crochet stitch in magic ring. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so and then close it. Up to round seven, you are going to stay at six single crochet stitches. So that's just one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So that's gonna be one, two, you're just gonna stay at um, six single crochet stitches. Once you have seven rounds of black, we're going to switch color to our gold. Go ahead and finish our single crochet stitch. And now we're gonna have three round three um, rounds of gold and we're gonna stay at six single crochet stitch. So that's just one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. When you get to the end of your third round of gold, we're going to switch to black again. And you're going to do two rounds. At the end of your two black rounds, we're going to repeat this pattern one more time of three rounds of gold and two rounds of black. You can cut the gold yarn short, but the last black yarn, you can go ahead and... And if you want your tail to get longer, you can just keep repeating this pattern until you have the desired length that you want. For the snout, for round one, I'm going to get my white yarn. I am going to do four, four single crochet into magic ring. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go ahead and close up the loop. For round two, I'm going to increase in each stitch around. So at the end, I should have eight single crochet stitches. One, two, three. Okay, for round three, my pattern's going to be two, one, 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 two, one, one, one. So at the end, I should have ten. One, two, and then just one, one, one. Okay, so next one, I'm going to increase. And in my next four, I'm going to do single crochet stitches there. So one, two, and then it's going to be one, two, Three, four. 
for round five, the pattern is going to be two. Here, one, two, and in our next five, just one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, for round six, I'm going to increase again. One, two, and then next six, just singles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And for round seven through ten, we're just going to stay at 16 single crochet stitches. So it's just one single crochet in each stitch around. After round 10, this is how your snout should look like. For round 11, the pattern is going to be a decrease. And then we are going to do 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For the next round, you're going to decrease again. And then single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, five. This round we are going to decrease. And in our next four, one, two, three, four. It's a single crochet stitch. In round 14, we're going to do a decrease. And then in our next three, one, two, three. And in our 15th and final round, we are just going to do keys all around. So we'll end up with four decreases. Two, three, and four. the belly patch you're going to chain five one two three four five and then you're going to do a single crochet stitch each stitch across so that you have four single crochet stitches at the end and then chain one and turn and you are going to increase at the beginning stitch and increase at the very last stitch and and in between is just one single crochet stitch so so you're gonna do two here okay, and now you're gonna do single crochet stitch single crochet stitch and then you're going to increase in the very last stitch so at the end you should have one two three four five six now for our next round, we're going to chain one crease and we want to go to eight. So we're going to do the same increase only at the beginning stitch and the very at the and at the very last. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Chain one turn. We're gonna go to 10 stitches at the next row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and increase here. Nine and 10. This is one, two, three, four. You can kind of see by the indent here. That's two rows here and two rows there. So now for rows 5 to 16, you are going to stay at 10 single crochet stitches. So we're going to chain one. Okay, and then we are just going to do one in each stitch across. Okay, so now you should have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 16 rows for our 17th row we are going to chain one and turn and we want to decrease from 10 to 8 so you're just going to decrease at the beginning and decrease at the end 
So this is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and decrease, eight. Okay, so now we're going to chain one and turn. And for our next round, we're just going to stay at eight. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now for two more rounds, we are going to stay at eight. Chain one turn. One, two, three. Okay, so now we should have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty rounds here. So in our twenty-first row, we should chain one. And we are going to do decrease. We want to go from eight to six, so we're gonna decrease one, two, three, four, five, and decrease again, six. Chain one turn, and we wanna stay at six, one, two, three. Okay, and once you're finished, this you are going to cut off a very long tail because we want it to have enough yarn to be able to stitch all the way around. I'm going to chain 11. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to slip stitch back across. Okay, so now you need to make one more of this. So you have a total of two. For the stripes on the back of the head, you're going to use the black yarn. You're going to chain 31. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you will make another one exactly the same as this one. And for our very last stripe, this one you are going to go ahead and chain 26 2 3 4 5 Go ahead and stuff your head
And here's our tiger completed. Okay, he's a very good huggable size. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and be sure to check out all my other crochet tutorials. All right, I'll catch you next video.